couple of months ago, Google rolled out an update to the Play Store that changed how you are able to access the My Apps and Games section. Instead of having that navigation menu on the left side of the screen where you would swipe in to reveal it, the company put all of that in a menu that you could access by tapping on the profile picture in the top right of the screen. This came out, I did a video showing you how to create a app shortcut that would take you directly to the My Apps and Games section so that people who were used to swiping in and didn't want to learn the new location could just instantly access that area of the Google Play Store. And this week I noticed there is another change happening to the Play Store. Some people are seeing it right now, others are not. Which either means that Google is experimenting with the My Apps page, or they are slowly rolling this change out to more and more users as the days go by. So you can see the My Apps and Games section has been renamed in this new update to Manage Apps and Device. And when we go to that page, we're used to seeing a long list of applications with an update button next to each of them, as, long, as well as an update all button at the top. So the new My Apps and uh, Games section is going to be listed in two different tabs. We have the Overview tab, which is the default display view. And then we have the Manage tab, which is actually a bit more like we are used to seeing. And from this Manage tab, we actually need to tap the Updates Available option to only get the apps that have an update. And instead of manually updating them one at a time, or instead of tapping the Update All button, we're able to specifically select which apps we want to update in this little Refresh icon right there will start the download and the install for those app updates. And these top buttons right here are filters. So if we only want to see the apps that are that have updates available, we can filter that. And we also have a games filter, so if we only want to see the games that have updates available, we can filter those out as well. For those who are wanting an update all button, you should still see it in the overview page as long as you're not actively installing an update at that time. You should see a see details box and then a update all button that you can press. So we can go back to that old update all screen by tapping on the see details. Or we can simply ignore what we're seeing and what we're updating and we're just going to tap the update all so that they all update in the background. Now you can see we also have some other changes in this overview page. We have our Google Play Protect status right there. We get some details on how much storage we currently have with an option to go to a free up space page. This may or may not be available on all devices. We can check our ratings and reviews for both unreviewed and our reviewed apps. And Google has also added a shortcut for sharing apps, a feature that was added recently that lets you share applications from device to device instead of having to download them from the Play Store. And Google has embedded that right in there to where you can send or receive an application that is currently supporting that specific share feature. So you can see this is the version of the Play Store I'm currently running. Again, because this seems to be a server-side update, even if you're running this specific version, you may not have that or this new version of the Google Play Store available? If so, that means Google has, will slowly 
continue rolling this out in the future or if there are a lot of complaints about this new change they may just scrap it entirely but that is a quick overview of the new manage apps and device page from within the google play store application